this flat out bar. Another gift from Harley Davidson. Now is the fun part. It's the engine guard mounted. Now all we need to do is put the windshield on. Hey guys, welcome back to another one from Holy Shift. I am Sandy. Today I'm gonna be installing on Grey Ghost, my 2022 Lowrider ST, the flat out bar by Harley Davidson. Yeah, so thank you for coming back. If it, you're new to the channel, appreciate it. If you subscribe to the channel down here, click the subscribe button. If you enjoy this video, give me a little thumbs up over there. Today, I'm gonna to be installing the flat out bar by Harley Davidson. Matt, thank you so much for sending out this flat out bar. Another gift from Harley Davidson. Yeah, I'm fortunate they did send out uh, for me to install, to show you a video how to install it and review if it's any good. And I'm gonna do the install right now. Let's take the bike out. So this is the box that you get, the flat out bar. In my case, it came with another box. Obviously the flat out bar is good for all soft tails, but uh, depending on your application, you have to have a, a specific addition. In my case with the ST, since this bar that holds the signal lights and is the lower mount for the fairing, this is exactly where the, the flat out bar is gonna be installed. So this needs to come off. And if this needs to come off, they have uh, pretty much adapter or little mounts that, that will go over here instead of this bracket. So that's what that second box is all about. So initially you need to take the fairing off and the windshield off. You've seen it in videos before. If not, short, I'll explain very briefly. Initially start by taking four top bolts out i think these are t27 torx and then you take the two lower ones the minute you take all six off windshield is going to come off loosen and take out these bolts these six bolts three over here and three over here these are the brackets that are going to hold the signal lights, it turns signals. So I got all six bolts out. were the last ones one over here right here the other side right here then this one other side this one fifth and now the last one they take this out the outer fairing is gonna come off I unplug this Okay, the next step of what we're doing is pretty much removing all uh, brackets that come installed currently. We need to start with the turn signals, take the turn signals, disconnect the turn signals well, right here and on the other side, put them aside. Then we're gonna disconnect and remove pretty much this bar. And then there's uh, another mount that I'll show you very soon. You see this clip over here? Disconnect it and move, uh, remove the signal light. Disconnect. Now unbolt over here, there's a bolt. Remember, this is on the right side. Keep it on the right. Next stage is disconnect this and this one and this one. When you remove these uh, nuts, these bolts and washers, save them. I think you will be using them when we mount the new brackets and the other side. Next is remove these bolts, two bolts over here, they're Allen bolts. 
I didn't say before, but obviously you gotta cover your front fender because you're working really close proximity to this whole area with a lot of tools, so make sure you cover it. Well, we're not using that anymore. And we also need to remove this bracket. Okay, why make life easy? Why? Why we can complicate stuff. See these two bolts? Impossible to get a socket or any wrench into here because the horn is in the way. In order to get the horn out, you can't get any tool over here. So I'm, I'm hoping this is the right way to do it. I'm taking this bolt out. And this whole piece of plastic with the horn on it would drop and move aside then I'll be able to get a, a wrench or a socket in there. Pulled out of the top over there and the whole thing dropped now I can get a socket in there. I was able to get a half inch inside crack it open. Once you crack it open it's no problem. First bolt is out now the second one. Bolt is out. Now we need to remove this whole bracket. This bracket is connected part of the engine mount right here so we need to take these two bolts out and then uh, the whole this bracket will simply come out It's out. Now I need to see if I need to put any other bracket in or just put the flat out bar. Let me check the instructions. Okay, this might be confusing, but just notice this is the, the engine mount bracket that we just took off. The kit, the kit for the flat out bar for the ST comes with a new engine mount bracket and that's the one you should use. Take a close look at it. This is the new one you should use. This is the one that I just took off and this one goes bye bye. Now we're going to use the exact same bolts that we just took off for the engine bracket. We're going to use it on the new engine bracket. Tighten these Allen bolts, the engine bolts. Now is the fun part. This is the part where the engine guard gets mounted and we put the bolts, bolts on uh, from the top, from the top. Okay, I've tightened I tightened both, both of these bolts down. Now I'll put back this uh, horn back in its place. Right here. Can you see right here? There's also another bolt that goes in the middle that comes with the kit, with the washer and with the nut in the back. So that needs to be tightened down as well. Now we take the mounting brackets. Now you can tell which one, which bracket goes to the correct side. This, for example, goes on the right side. You can tell because it's facing, it's gonna be this way, okay? And look where the bolt is, where the bolt is gonna go. And this is where the wiring is gonna go, are gonna go. And it, it mounts over here this way. You use the bolt and the washer that came off originally from here, okay? And you use a nut that they actually provided in the kit. This is the, this is the nut. So now I'm gonna show you how it fit on the left side. This is the left side, okay?
okay? I have the bolt in with nothing in it, just the bolt going through. This is the left, the left bracket. And then on the inside, it has over here the washer. Now the same thing, same thing the other side, I'll try to show close up. The bolt goes in first, then the bracket. And you can see the inside, I'll try to get a close up of the inside. Can you see there? I don't think you can. Anyway, on the inside there's the washer and then the nut. Okay, I'm not, collect, I'm not connecting this part, the bottom bracket yet. I'll leave that to the end. Only after I put the fairing on because this is going to move and I want all bolts to fit in properly. Once it's all connected, then this one is going to be the last one to be uh, put in place. But for now, we're going to put the turn signals. Remember, put this, run this inside here and then put the bolt around. Remember to clip these back in. Now let's put the outer fairing back on. Now that the fairing is on and secured, I'll connect the bottom parts for the, for the support, both sides. These. So the bottom, bottom clamp for the support is on. <clears throat> now let's do the other side. So that's it guys. We've got the flat out bar installed. It took me about an hour and a half, two hours with uh, filming and everything. Not too complicated, actually not really complicated. The only challenging part was, again, it's a tight, tight fit over here, this whole area of getting uh, the, the stock mount off. So getting that off, cause getting a socket in here was a bit of a trouble, a uh, bit of a problem. But if you do step-by-step -step and patience, it's no problem whatsoever. Now all we need to do is put the windshield on. And for that, I have another surprise for you. Again, Harley, thank you so much. Matt and the crew, thank you so much for sending out. Look at this, I'm gonna install another Harley part, another Harley windscreen. Really cool. I'm gonna take it out for a spin and review it and tell you how it is in a different video. But for now, I'm just gonna install it. The next video will be about the actual ride and review of that windscreen. Take a look. This is the part, Harley's short silk screen. I've seen it in the catalog, it looks dope. It's shorter than stock. It fits only the FXLR ST, the Lowrider ST. And let's open it up. How about this one? How about it? Huh? How about this windshield? Look at the color. It's the same color. It's the bronze, bronze like the, like the rims. So this is the flat out bar by Harley Davidson, the engine guard for all soft tailed models, including the ST, low rider ST right here. And I got the short, the short windscreen. We'll review that and ride it in the next video. For those of you that are wondering if it can uh, serve as, as highway pegs, I don't think so. I think it's a little bit too high unless you do something, you connect something to it to drop uh, a foot peg below it or something like that. Let me try it out. No, it's a little bit too high. That's a little bit too high for me. Let's put it that way. Take a look at all the merchandise I have. There's a Sportster, a Sportster 2015 Sportster giveaway. Gonna be ending in a few weeks. Go buy yourself tickets, entry. Even the smallest thing you buy, like a $10 sticker, is an entry into the raffle. So go ahead, take part in this giveaway. Hey, Nick the Greek and Ray Washington, you are the two that were selected. A lot of people suggested Grey Ghost, but you, both of you were randomly selected to get a gift. So 
hit me up, go to my website, write me an email. I need to discuss how to get stuff to you. Congratulations. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again to Harley Davidson. I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift till the next video guys. Peace out. Hey, Nick the Greek and Ray Washington uh, were randomly selected. You guys are us. Hey, Nick the Greek and... Hey, Nick the Greek and Ray Washington...